Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to sew a disappearing pinwheel block. Here's an example of a disappearing pinwheel block that I've made previously, uh, so you can see what the block will look like when we're finished. For this I used a yellow spot fabric and the colourful toad stores from my Forest Journal collection which is going to be available to buy towards the end of October. The fabric I'll be using for this tutorial is also from my Forest Journal collection and this one is called Field Research. It's got these lovely books with flowers coming out and mushrooms coming out of them, I think it's so pretty. And I'm using this with a forest green plain cotton. So here's a list of everything you're going to need to make a pinwheel block and let's get started. Now just start by cutting my two pieces of fabric into 10 inch squares. Place the two squares right sides together and we're going to sew around all four edges and we'll use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now with our square we're going to cut diagonal lines from corner to corner. And I'm just making sure here that my ruler is on the points precisely before cutting. Once that's done we can open them up and we'll have four half square triangles. And then you can go ahead and press the seams to one side. Now we can arrange our squares into the pinwheel design. And we'll sew the top two squares together and then the bottom two squares together. And again we can press the seams to one side. If you press the seams in opposite directions to each other then that will make this easier when you want to nest the seams. And now we'll sew the top row to the bottom row right sides together, nesting those seams. And once again, we'll press that seam we've just sewn to one side. Now we're going to cut the block either side of the central line and we're going to cut two and a half inches on either side and then two and a half inches either side of the horizontal line too. And I'm just making sure here that my ruler is lining up exactly on that central line so that my lines are straight and even.
Now take the middle square from each side and rotate it 180 degrees. And then it should look something like this. And now we can sew these squares in rows. So starting with the top row, we'll sew the first two right sides together using a quarter inch seam allowance again. And then sew that third square to the second right sides together. Repeat that process with the other two rows. And now we can press those seams in alternate directions. And sew those three rows right sides together, making sure to nest the seams so that our points are neat. So here is the first row sewn to the second, and now we'll add the third row to the bottom. And don't just hate it when that happens. I've run out of bobbin thread, just bear with me one second. Second time lucky, now all the rows are sewn together. We can give that one final press and we are finished. And here is my brand new pinwheel block, as well as my old one. And I think this is just a real quick and easy, fun way of doing a quilting block. It looks a lot more complicated than it really is, and once you get going with these, you could make loads and make a really gorgeous quilt. Or alternatively, you could make it into a bag or add it onto the back of a jacket. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you've made one yourself, let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!